in Morning Jacket, een jonge Amerikaanse band. Maar uh, sinds kort is daar verandering in gekomen, want hun eerste cd, de Tennessee Fire, staat op nummer 1 van de moordlijst van het muziek tijdschrift Oor. Een toonaangevende lijst voor muziekliefhebbers. En vandaag is zelfs een foto te zien in verschillende landelijke dagbladen. U kunt ze zelf horen spelen via Radio Rijnmond vanuit onze eigen studio. I was born in East Kentucky On where the grasses die Always down and always out But my morrows always seem just fine Let's see here. It's not us. There's one. What does this say? Is CD, the Tennessee Fire, um, is on a high place in that alternative hit parade. Record of the year, or some other journalist said. Uh, and so on and so on. It's more or less. Yeah. yeah. Ooh. What about that one? What's that first paragraph say? Jim James gets compared with the young New Young. Wow. Bruce Springsteen, Brian Wilson from the Beach Boys. The atmosphere, the playing and the songs uh, call for uh, adjectives as mysterious, full of passion and breathtaking. Some of my favorite adjectives. Absolutely. The young New Young was good. Oh, yeah. 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 <laughs> Cool, cool, everything is great. I don't, I don't understand word of it, but it's great. And you must come to Ahoy. You know Ahoy in Rotterdam? Uh, when you are uh, uh, in one or two years, you are in Ahoy, that's, that's for 15,000 people, and everybody's going like, ah! We got to Holland? Well, uh, I just got an email one day from Ben Kamsma at the Paradiso, and he said that uh, 
people were liking the album over here and uh, they wanted to bring us over for a little tour. So we talked for a while and just came down to getting the tickets and getting on the plane coming over. My morning jacket has existed probably like eight or nine years. Just started out as me playing songs acoustically. We've been together like this for about a year, a little less than a year. And how many shows did you do before you arrived in Holland? I'd say we've done somewhere in the neighborhood of 20, collectively as a band, somewhere in that neighborhood. <laughs> Music's my life. It's always been my dream. It's a thrill to get to come over here and, and do it for people. Because it's fun to do it in your hometown, but I'm a question mark here. You know, nobody knows my past, and that, that's okay. that's a good thing. That's what we need. We need our first uh, first beer. Yeah. Yeah. Sounds good. You pronounce beer the same way, don't you? Just beer. No signs. I don't understand. It's just my job five days a week. A rocket. The average day in Kentucky is uh, I get up in the morning, drive out 64 East to my bagel store where I work uh, with my friends. Uh, everybody that works there is really cool. Uh, we're all, it's a real friendly atmosphere. I deliver bagels, I seed bagels, I sell bagels and cut bagels, and uh, then I do dishes and leave. And then when the day's my woman's in town, we just find each other and spend the rest of the day together and the night, and, uh, and then it repeats. Uh, when she's not in town, I get off work and go home and write some songs and just play around. And here lately, we've been moving, so I've been constantly moving stuff from one house to the next. But a typical day just consists of either work and then music, or work and girl, or work and girl and music. Bagels, sweet bagels. They're chewy and filling. Back where I come from, we have big bins full of bagels, you know? Yeah. We have uh, spinach and uh, cinnamon and raisin and uh, plain wheat. What kind of bagels do y'all have? Sesame? No. Sesame? <laughs> My favorite bagel is taking a honey wheat bagel, cutting it in half, putting eggs on it, and cheese, and salt. Yeah? That's what I eat every morning for breakfast at the bagel shop. Eggs, cheese, and salt. <laughs>
but you can't use my phone. I love Chicago. It's a great place to play. Yeah, she was a young girl. About the age of 23. Somehow the Lord never smiled down upon So she flew out on a breeze. I don't want to feel afraid. I don't want to feel afraid. Modern stuff is just like they keep playing everything out over and over and over again. And it's like you've either got your rap and R&B artists who, who to me are just playing the same theme, same themes and the same beats, only the beats are getting weaker and weaker and the singing's getting weaker and weaker. It, it's almost like it's just a status symbol. It's like I, I don't see what distinguishes one act from another because they're all doing the exact same thing. So, and the same with popular uh, like top 40 rock and roll bands and stuff like that. It's like they're all doing such the same formula. Music seems like it just turned into a game. It's just like the the guys in the office at the big record company went out and said, okay, there's four good looking guys. We're gonna give them some guitars and some drums and show them these songs we've got written out here. Our demographic shows that these songs are the best to sell for this period in time. So they give them to the bands, you know, and and those bands are just pushed and pushed and pushed and so many people it doesn't really matter what they hear they just hear it on the radio over and over and over again it becomes ingrained in their mind and they buy it if you're an artist that just just likes music there's there's also the indie scene but lots of times people in the indie scene especially in america i don't know how it is over here but they're they're really stuck up really high on themselves and don't like to let new people in or, or new ideas they just like they like what's there and they like what their friends do, no matter what it is, and that's it. And, and since they're the ones that have the money and the leverage and the labels, they put out all the zines, you know, and, and the, everybody picks up on that stuff more, you know, so you get more people buying it and more people going to the shows. I just think that, that music has turned away from music. It's like people go to shows just because they know that their friend is going to be there or they'll see that guy they like, you know, and, and they'll they'll just be able to connect with people, which is cool, but I just think that, that people have been forgetting about music. Lots of times I feel really connected with, you know, like Van Morrison, you know, Neil Young, of course, the, the Flaming Lips, the band, the Stones, the Beatles, Zeppelin. I just feel a, a strong, strong bond with that kind of music just because it's the music that, that I think means the most to everybody as a whole. <laughs>